I love doing tags with this tip. It's the coolest tip to do tags with. I feel like I don't even have to review this tip. When you look at that tag, when you look at what it could do, it speaks for itself right there. B. Now I'm gonna assume with this cap, this was meant to be, I'm assuming like the biggest cap, like the biggest spray, given the name is 100% B. So let's see how this sprays out. We got it at full pressure. Okay, so it's giving us kind of like this splatter effect. I think so far, the standard cap really stuck out to me, the thin cap really stuck out to me, uh, and now the 100% B is like sticking out the most as far as the effects, what it's meant to do. I don't know if I would use this for filling in, for outlining, or for just doing tags, because I really like that look that it gives you. But yeah, let's mess around, let's see the range of this cap. Let's see how thin it could go, how thick it could go. Play around with it. So now we're gonna do our dot test. And if you keep pressing, it becomes more solid with the splattered edges. This is about as close to the max limit of the standard cap. And it looks like it's still building up. And I think this is the biggest cap. I think it beats the standard cap, actually. Wow, this is a big cap right here. Hands down, this is easily so far the biggest, the biggest spray. So now let's give it the line test and see how well it does with um, going from solid lines to soft lines. See if we go, we could obviously get solid, you know, solid lines. Let's see if we get soft lines. If I press down lightly, oh, and it just goes straight. Well, if I move faster, this is more of like a splattered effect. Let me just go down straight to half pressure. Wow, you see that? See, and this is the part where it starts to get unrealistic because no way in real life where I could get a dot that big, I would never be able to use the same cap that gave me that gave me that dot to give me that line. A lot of them are the same as far as um, you can manipulate each one of them to kind of give you the same results. The 100% beef though, it's obviously has that added benefit of giving you that splattered look which I really like because it, it mimics, you know, real life spray paint. All right, now I'm curious to keep doing some lines. I want to see what it's like at zero at low pressure. Wow, okay, so again, the exact same results as half pressure, low pressure, exact same results. beef has a lot of range even at the lowest pressure now i'm having a hard time even like what would be the point of lowering the pressure increasing the pressure i mean it would give you a bolder line so now let me see if i bring the pressure all the way up whether you're at low pressure high pressure if you manipulate it right if you if you use it the right way you could still get the same or better results so that's kind of what i'm drawing out of this whole uh, tip review so far. Again, because it's all a game, it's all very similar settings. In real life, it's a uh, totally different. Damn, freaking, I'm learning a lot about this game through this tip review. All right, so we got at full pressure. I want to do a very solid line to see what that would look like. Each tip does have its unique feature. It's a little bit different than the rest. So like the Feather Duster, the 100% Beef, I feel pretty confident that if I had to, I could probably get the same results out of both of them. But um, as we can see here visually, yeah, there's a there's an obvious purpose and reason why they exist in the game. So now we're gonna jump to we've done the Cyclops. Oh, 
Okay, so this tip specifically is hollow. I think maybe that's why they call it the Cyclops is because it looks like an eye. The range isn't that big. Damn, this cat is getting pretty fat right here. And I think that's the max limit. We could get super tiny dots and we get a pretty good medium sized hollowed out circle. I think this tip might have been made just for doing tags because when you look at that tag, that looks like a real life tag. Damn, yeah, I really like this tip now. I'm gonna use it for tags. Uh, so now let's give it the line test. So. I feel like a better name for this cap would have been called like the ghost cap. So now let's get a little thicker. Wow, it seems like if you want to get a solid, if you go a little bit slower, you're getting more of that, that Cyclops effect. At least I think what it was intended to do. You can't go too fast without it looking like you did nothing. Or you might want that at times because you're trying to do some light effects. So if we go slower, we're getting more of a solid, oh wow, even that this speed, it's barely popping up, which could be good, which could be bad. All depends on your intention, what you're painting, how you want to use it, where you're using it. I'm going to see how slow you have to go to get a solid line with Cyclops. It still comes up hollow in some spots. So yeah, I'm going to do some tags right here. to get this paint to show up. So I could see this Cyclops cap being used for gradients, you know, building up that paint because it's such a low opacity cap. Our last cap to review is the chisel tip. I've used the chisel tip before. Oh man, I've got to say, this is probably one of my favorite tips because it gives you the coolest effect. If you ever wanted to uh, make it look like you're writing with a marker on the wall, this is the tip to use. I love doing tags with this, this tip. It's the coolest tip to do tags with. I feel like I don't even have to review this tip because when you look at that tag, when you look at what it could do, it speaks for itself right there. Let's do our dot test, then we'll do a line test. Let's make some lines with this thing. easy to see why this is like one of my favorite tips. If I'm gonna uh, make my background, you know, black out, buff this whole wall black, the best tip to use is this chisel tip. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wreck probably the rest of this. I'm gonna just do a few tags, not the whole wall, of my favorite tips so far. Let me jump back to the beginning. The standard cap was one of the best, so I'll do a few tags with this.
So there you guys have it. Um, as you guys saw, I went through all the tips, the standard, the New York fat, the pink dot, the thin cap, the feather duster, the 100% beef, the cyclops, and the chisel tip. Overall, I think there was good things and bad things about all of them. It is a video game, so there are some things that, like the tips that I'm like, oh, that's that was different than this tip. That tip wasn't very different from this tip. I could get all the same results with any one of these tips. I learned a lot through this process. I think my favorite tips are definitely the chisel tip, the cyclops tip, uh, the 100% beef, and probably the standard cap. The standard cap just had the widest range. You could do the most with that cap. With that one cap, you could do just about anything. Uh, I really like the 100% beef, the cyclops, and the chisel just because of the features, the added benefit of the unique thing that that tip could do. Um, the chisel tip, obviously, it's just this dope appearance. The visual effect of the, of the chisel tip is, oh my God, it's uncomparable. The Cyclops tip as well, it gives you that realistic circular, uh, circular effect that you get from real life spray painting. The 100% beef just gave a dope like splatter effect. Um, so I know a lot of you guys have been commenting and asking for this video, so I hope this video really just gave you a good idea of what each tip could do so yeah if you like this video give it a like drop a comment below and as always subscribe we've got new videos every wednesday at 5 p.m also you can cop some merch in the link in the description below if you guys have any other ideas drop in the comment section below and we'll see you guys next week peace